Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. O Psalm 93, a two beautiful songs contained in the book of Psalms of the Bible, is a prayer of adoration that shines with the majesty and power of the Creator. This psalm, like many others, offers a glimpse of the greatness of God's dominion over all things, establishing the foundation for the trust and reverence of those who seek Him. Through vivid imagery of nature and God's inescapable sovereignty, Psalm 93 evokes a deep appreciation of the divine reign and leads us to contemplate the immensity of the universe, where bound the natural elements curve before the supreme ruler. The center of the psalm is an expression of the stability and permanence of the throne of God. He is described as, dressed in majesty, and clothed with power, symbols that illustrate divine grandeur and incontestable authority. A signed image of the world, incapable of wavering, highlights the certainty of the order established by God from the eternal times. The elements of creation, such as rivers and sea waves, are used to compare the magnitude of God's power. He is portrayed as surpassing himself or the tumult of the most imposing waters, solidifying his supremacy over all aspects of existence. Thus, Psalm 93 invites reflection on the fidelity and holiness of two divine testimonies, as well as the constant presence of God in his eternal house. This poetic hymn invites us to marvel at divine transcendence and to find comfort in the stability and reliability of God who reigns over all. Dear brothers and sisters, May the peace and grace of God be with you. As a community united in faith, we want to share an inspiring treasure of the scriptures I know, O Psalm 93. In this huddle of Louvre, we can contemplate the majesty of divine reign and the beauty of creation that surrounds us. We would love to invite each one of you to join us on a journey of spiritual exploration. Not ours channel, we will dive into the depths of two psalms and other biblical passages, seeking understanding and strengthening in the Word of God. If you want to be part of this enriching journey, we humbly ask that you join our channel. Together, we will explore the wonders of the scriptures and share the love and knowledge of God. Click on the registration button and become part of this community of faith and learning. We thank you for joining us in your search for a deeper connection with the divine. May the blessings of the Most High always be with you. Let's pray Psalm 93 and then our Father Amen. O Senor reigns, he is dressed in majesty. O Senor clothed himself in power. The world is also signed, and will not be able to hesitate. Or your throne has been firm since then. You are from eternity. We lift up the rivers, O Lord. The rivers raise their noise. The rivers raise their waves. More O Senora's NAS Altus is more powerful. When you hear noise you give great waters. Where the great waves of the sea. Mui fies sao os your testimonials. Holiness can them a tu casa. Sir, forever. Save your people, and bless your inheritance, and feeds them and exalts them forever. Then man will say, Indeed, there is a reward for the righteous one, truly, there is a God who has judged on the earth. Lord, we see the struggle, challenges, and heartaches that surround us. We recognize that life often brings difficulties and that problems can feel overwhelming. At that moment, I ask that your hands extend over each situation, over each challenge. Open employment doors, Lord, allow opportunities to flourish even in the most adverse circumstances. Take away the anguish and bring relief, and where there are debts, Lord, bring the solution, the provision that only you can give. In this act of prayer, I also ask for healing. Heal the wounds, heal the infirmities of the body, mind and spirit. I remember the words of Psalm 91, where you promised to deliver us from all distress. I trust in your healing power, of transformation. May illnesses dissipate, 
depression be driven away, and families find solace and renewal in your grace. Lord, I know that emotional emptiness can be profound. I ask you to be close to those who feel lonely, broken and sad. Place people of God in their lives, men and women who can be instruments of your presence, who can bring love, friendship and comfort. Bless, Lord, everyone's spiritual life, may it be strengthened, enriched and may every step taken towards you be full of meaning. Look, Father, at your children's finances. Bring relief from the financial burdens that weigh on them. It opens the door to prosperity, not only so that you can provide for your own needs, but also so that you can be a blessing to others. May your children experience your bounty and live lives of abundance in every way. I thank you, Lord, that you hear these words, that you consider the requests of your children. With gratitude in my heart, in the name of Jesus, I express my trust in your goodness and mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power. Honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. As we read the words of Psalm 93, we are reminded that divine grandeur is entwined in the very essence of our world. The roar of two rivers and the impetus of the waves of the sea bear witness to the magnitude of the power of the Creator. However, above all, the firmness of the eternal throne prevails, which has been based on existence since unimaginable times. When we contemplate the words of this psalm, we are called to consider the constant presence of sanctity in the house of the Lord. True stability does not reside only in the foundations of the physical world, but rather in the immutable sanctity of that which reigns over all things. Discover comfort and hope in realizing that, even in the turbulences of life, the majesty and fidelity of God remain unabated. That this psalm inspires us to trust in divine sovereignty, to seek holiness in all things and to live with the certainty that, despite the waters that may roar, the eternal truth of the Lord remains unshakable. May we hope, as a community of faith, to keep close the call of Louvre and of the Spirit, always confirming the magnificence of the divine reign that transcends all ages. May the echo of the words of Psalm 93 continue to resound in our hearts, reminding us of the greatness of our God and of His promise of love, fidelity, and protection. May we delight the presence of the Lord and find strength in His eternal sanctity. Amen.